Hello, Sandra here from Atelier Vintage Rose. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for returning and watching my videos. I'm going to join Saturday Morning Makes because today it was Saturday and I started this morning and it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon now and I finally finished my project. I made a sewing machine for myself to use uh, next to my actual sewing machine to hold my threads and my needles and my oil. So um, yeah, I made it in the style that I like and I used some paper here from the Scrap Boys Sewing, sewing Love from Scrap Boys. I used the manica and two of those uh, little pictures and I like to uh, join Jill Norwood with Saturday Morning Makes. Uh, she shows us what you make on Saturday morning <laughs> or the rest of the week. You just put it out on a Saturday. And um, yeah, I join and it's a very good for me to actually film every week and make something and finish my projects. This one was a long time in the make, but uh, I finally finished it. So yeah, on top I made um, a little uh, measuring tape and there's a thread. And I just decorated this bobbin and there's a big spool here and I'll show you the back. I started uh, on this side and then I thought, oh no, I want the other side to be the front, but I don't mind that there is something on the back. And this is my gorgeous lace from France. I always uh, went to France and uh, found my lace at there on flea markets. So yeah. I have not got the pockets in, but I'm going to do that in a minute. The top was I showed you, and there is for the big round thing on your machine, I used the button. And inside here, I have two of those gorgeous roses, and I made a teeny tiny, I don't know if you can see that, but I made a uh, pin cushion with actual pins in it, so it really works. And there's a little scissor. Oh, sorry. There's a little scissor there. And to fill it, I have my... I made a base and I uh, measured it out. The base is a little bit wider so I can store all my threads. And I don't know how you say those little things under in the other underside of your machine. But I store them uh, color-wise like this. So I can... Put that in the bottom, that's one. And then on every drawer I have a little rose or a little flower like this. There's my camera here. <laughs> Those raisin flowers. So the next one are my uh, needles for my sewing machine. That one goes right here. And the third one is some extras, some bobbins that I have extra. That goes in here. And for the top, I this opens up. And here is my sewing oil for my machine. And this opens up. And then I made it extra deep. So it holds my bottle of oil. So yeah, that's what I... Uh, I made today, I finished this one today and I'm very happy with it. I can put it next to my sewing machine and I can use everything that's inside. So that's one. And then last week I finished the proje uh, my project on the tote bag. I think everybody <laughs> has seen my tote bag right now. But I still can't finish my projects. But I made these tiny little envelopes with these tiny faces on them. I drew them on myself. This one says hugs. This one says joy. And this one says sweet. It's just with the lips and a tiny piece of lace. And this one says love. And yeah. So I made, after I finished filming uh, last week, I made those four tiny embellishments. And then I tried to make a heart shaker. When I'm going to make a face on that, 
I don't know if I already did that last week, but that's what I did. And now I'm trying to make an album with all the hearts that I punched out. And I have this machine. And unfortunately, it just got through this. I measured it wrong in the machine. So I have a hole here. So I have to decorate this album. And this is going to be an album, I hope. What I used for the pink cushion I wanted to show you, it's just a little tiny uh, thing of my milk carton, the lid of a milk carton, and I filled it up with um, fluffy, fluffy stuff, <laughs> and just put some, uh, wrapped some uh, fabric around it, and then I glued it down, so you can get a pin cushion that you can really use, so I used the bottle like this with the opening, and then you can really use the pin cushion. So yeah, that's what I made this week. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoy my sewing machine uh, box. <laughs> and um, see you uh, next week. Have a great week. It's very, very rainy in the Netherlands right now. But um, we also have sunshine, and that is very nice. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great week. Bye-bye.